Welcome to Stars Listen and today I will be testing if I can destroy vehicle, a vehicle, the vehicle with my machine gun. I picked the thumb rail cyclone TR for this specific operation and for my machine gun I have picked the FS9. The idea is pretty simple, I'm gonna start laying into this vehicle and see how much this vehicle can take in. Now the first magazine probably won't too much, okay that is a beautiful sight right away that it could destroy the side plate. The detail of these vehicles, the damage they can take is actually pretty nice. Although I don't think the real machine gun would do this much harm, it is still pretty nice. The actual health or health points of this vehicle is over 5400. Kinda like a light fighter, maybe a bit less health wise. I think we already dropped another plate off the front. It's quite remarkable that there are many details, the damages these vehicles can take. There is quite a lot of work put into it, it's always beautiful to see. You can see all the dents, all the damage that I've done. It shouldn't be too hard to blow up a vehicle like this, although I would really like it if we actually could uh, more likely disable them instead of just blowing them up. I'm not sure the distance I should be standing at as well. I'm not sure how big the explosion is going to be, but hey, just in case I'm keeping my distance. I think that I've used up four magazines at this point. The fifth one is which I'm firing. I really like it that you can't just destroy a vehicle with a couple of machine gun magazines or, well, just putting a little effort in it. That would make these vehicles even more useless than they are. Okay, the explosion was there. It took me basically five and a half magazines. Maybe less depending on how many shots I missed. And there go the wheels. But okay, that was simple enough. Ground vehicle versus a machine gun. Now let's put a ship against it. I think Mustang Alpha is decent enough. So first things first, I want to try and shoot off its weapon. The ship itself has average amount of health for light fighter 8400 or actually above it. And of course the first thing I want to do is shoot off its weapon, see how long it will take. I've taken quite, quite many magazines with me just to make sure that I can destroy it. And in case a couple of nades as well. I was kind of surprised it didn't take it down with a single mag but it took me only one and a half to destroy its weapon. That's not too bad. So next up, the wing. I guess this will go equally as fast. I think these uh, parts of the ship don't really have that much health. And you can see all the beautiful dents here, like all the damage I've done to it. It's really realistic, the damage that you can do. I mean, with a ship, it probably would be a lot more brutal. It would look maybe even cooler. And that took me basically a magazine just to burn that wing off. Okay, so next up, I guess we can burn down the thruster, the left side thruster. I'm not sure if it will affect the landing gear, but it uh, definitely will affect the ship's maneuverability a lot more than a simple wing. This will probably take longer and I may need, even need to refurbish my ammunition supplies from my inventory. Okay, that's one and a half magazines gone, basically two. I'm guessing it's almost two and a half. Okay, it was two and a half magazines and the wing got blown off, but the wheel still seems to hold the ship on the ground. So this one, it isn't detached, although there is nothing really holding it or looking like there's nothing really holding it to my ship. And I guess next up we have visitors. Actually, we have the body, but yay. I guess we got a friendly miner nearby came outside and took a little look at what I had done here and actually even offered me a ride away from this place. Okay, so next up we have the body. This will probably take a lot more than just a simple three, four mags. Now I just hope I brought enough ammunition to destroy it. Second magazine is almost done and the third one will go pretty fast as well. The ships are, well, or at least feel a lot more resilient. Wait, where do you go? The ships feel a lot more resilient than, well, the ground vehicles. Okay, true, their health difference is significant. And of course, they did shoot off the parts of this ship, so that may be the reason why it's, uh, well, taking this long. The machine guns are beasts, I gotta be honest. They're beautiful weapons. And there it goes. It took me five and a half magazines fully on the body to destroy it. And we actually have a turret left here. Well, the gun that I shot off from the turret, I mean. Of course, while doing this, I made sure I turned off the engines and the interface of the vehicles because I didn't want to shoot through the shield or else I don't think I would have had enough ammo to take uh, down this ship and the vehicle. 
So it is doable with both the ground and flying vehicles, but it will take you forever, even with a weapon like this. But okay, so I've got a long road ahead of me. Where did that miner go? Oh, God damn it. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.